when people challenge, you know, re people of religion saying that um, we don't believe in God and religion, one of the arguments offered by people who want to believe in God as a personality is a miracle. They say, <coughs> God is that person who works beyond the capacity of science. It is, he's able to bend the rules of science or nature. That is why he's special. He doesn't play along with the rules of nature or the rules of physics. He's able to bend the rules of nature. And this is called a miracle. Now this may sound like a very interesting way of perhaps trying to see if they can prove the existence of God because they can do miracles. But in fact it fails miserably when you try and explore it in a more philosophic manner. Because if you say God does miracle for those people who pray for him, then that God appears very partisan, means he's doing business. If people who don't, don't know God, atheists, they are in trouble. So God will only reserve his miracles for those who want to believe in him. So God appears in a very poor light. And again, in most cases, you can find out that what you call miracle is nothing but a placebo effect. Sometimes the fact that you have such faith itself helps you to perhaps recover if you have health problems. Or sometimes, it's in a way, this idea of miracle, in a way, is just to give you comfort that, look, there is some extra entity I can relate to when I'm things, are, I'm things are bad for me. But every excuse offered to try and prove existence of God using miracles fails. Hinduism, in fact, says anything that appears miraculous, that offends your common sense, tries to kind of allow you to become irrational, avoid it at all cost. So miracles are not a good way of exploring the existence of God. The only thing the Hindus say is this. They say that you have tremendous mental powers that you have never you know, been able to access and have access to. This mental power, we all have them, can be kind of, you know, in a way, fine-tuned for your benefit. So if, for example, you are very strong, this is again something shown in, in, in medical research. Those individuals who are very optimistic, who are fighters, come out of serious illness as well. Those individuals who are pessimistic and fatalistic die very fast. So they're not able to fight the disease or the ailment they suffer with because they already have this mental mode. So your mental mode can definitely play a part in the way you recover and call it a miracle. It's basically your own power that you are not even aware of that came into play to bring about a recovery. So this is the better way of trying to explore the idea of miracles. Free e-learning course in Hinduism. To register, please visit www.hindu-academy.com. Talks on Hinduism. Sponsored by People Care. Encouraging caring for the elderly in their own homes. For more information, please visit peoplecare.com.